Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update this channel daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, I share with you the Grand Seiko Spring Drive USA Edition SPJ384, a 50-piece limited edition in 2018 to celebrate the establishment of Grand Seiko USA, the first independent Grand Seiko company outside the borders of Japan. And the watch is a stunner. It features the polyhedron case form that's been with us in one form or another since the 1967 44 GS, but you'll see that it distinguishes itself from its more common steel counterpart with a strap rather than a bracelet, and that does bear a little bit on the fit. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, this 50 piece limited edition is 12.9 millimeters thick rather than the 12.6 of the steel case, though they're the same 46 millimeters from lug to lug case only. Only. The spacing between the lugs is 19 millimeters if you wish to accessorize, and the diameter itself is 40 millimeters, such that I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Now, it's interesting to note that Grand Seiko is one of the most integrated manufacturers in the world. They make everything from sapphires to pivot jewels to lubricants. And of course, the strap made in Japan, it's a robust piece, large rectangular scale alligator leather, semi gloss, as you can see, a folded edge and a monotone stitch, good volume and body, substantial but very very soft. Now, the shock comes inside the clasp, where you quickly read that this is an Italian-made Grand Seiko red gold clasp. I appreciate the attention to detail from our Italian friends, uh, Japan and Italy teaming up on this one. It's a substantial piece, beautifully finished inside and outside, with twin triggers designed the old-fashioned way, not a swing arm spring, but a actual discrete spring inside the bodies of the trigger shaft and separate retracting teeth to fix the mechanism together. This is an expensive and deluxe, apparently European-made clasp on a Grand Seiko. Full deployment clasps are a rarity on Grand Seiko watches that do not include bracelets, so that's a great one for this timepiece and a memorable anecdote. The case is beautifully made, but though Zeratsu tin plate black polish or optically smooth mirror finish is applied, and it's an extraordinary amount of hand finishing. You rarely see the like, even at this price point in Swiss watchmaking these days. This is an entirely hand finished case, combination of facets, curves, satin, and polish, but it's the dial that really sets this one apart. The timepiece has a dial that is inspired by Japanese painting, the painting technique known as kirazuri, or sparkling painting, and that's certainly what's achieved here. I'm trying to get as close as I can to resolve this to a high degree. It's almost like a little bit of a mottled snowflake pattern. Not to, not to use that term because that does have a separate meaning to Grand Seiko fans. I'm not talking about the SBGA11 and 211. It's not that kind of a snowflake, but you can see it's a sort of irregular rusticated shimmering finish, as though a combination of varnish and stamping were able to create a three-dimensionality and a little bit of a prismatic effect. Though it's dominant silver, you can see tones of bronze and gold, even violet. So if you have a loop and you buy this watch, definitely inspect this dial, that it will pay off spring drive in red on the dial base, and all hands as well as Grand Seiko logo and indices in hand-finished red gold to match the case. You will note the height of those applique indices as well as the sharpness of their facets. The same is true for the Dauphine hands at center. They're beautifully finished, and the attention to detail of these handmade components is second to none. I consider Grand Seiko dials, and not just their fancy and often six to 12 step dial bases. I also include the dial furniture to be one of the highlights of a Grand Seiko. Their bases are great, but don't overlook the indices in the hands. Now there is a date, there is a power reserve. It traces a three day reserve to Marsh. There's a quick set function for the date. There's a hacking or stop seconds function for the seconds. And though this watch is water resistant to 100 meters, unlike its steel counterpart, it does not have a screw down crown, perhaps a consequence of the red gold case construction. Turn it all over and you see manufacturer caliber. In fact, a hot-rodded spring drive movement. Spring drive is unique in that it features a spring 
that provides all the energy to drive the unidirectional regulating wheel that creates an induced current that wakes up a quartz oscillator. There is no battery, there is no capacitor, there are no motors in here. All the motion you see is by virtue of spring energy alone, hence the term spring drive. And because there isn't a Swiss escapement bouncing back and forth, you don't have the stop, start, stagger. It's a completely smooth sweep of the hands. Three-day power reserve, automatic winding. This watch with a 30-joule watchmaker built, watchmaker regulated, and when the time comes watchmaker serviced lifetime caliber, but what sets this spring drive apart is that it's more accurate than you'll find in its steel counterpart. That one in the SBGA 387 is rated to about one second per day precision. This one, and you can see it features the red gold medallion, indicative of a custom or hot rotted or higher tolerance Grand Seiko movement. This one rated to plus or minus 0.5 seconds per day, and thus roughly 15 seconds per month, an outstanding score from a movement that is both aesthetically beautiful and intellectually appealing. You can see this rare 2018 Grand Seiko Spring Drive USA Boutique Limited Edition of 50 pieces and make it yours on our website.